Hi, it's Rosie. I am going to be showing you how I've done my kind of everyday on the go makeup look using all my favorite hourglass products. So stay tuned, keep watching. I've prepped my skin already with my moisturizers. Now I'm gonna use the Veil Mineral Primer. This product is oil free and it also has a little bit of broad spectrum SPF 15 in it, which is really great for me living in LA. I like to always make sure I have a little bit of SPF on my skin. And this has a really beautifully, almost like kind of serum like texture to it. It's very, very light. And so it's just gonna absorb into the skin really quickly and beautifully and give my skin this sort of great prep for any concealer or foundation that I'm gonna apply. So I'm just gonna kind of push it into the areas where I'm gonna apply the foundation just using light tapping motions. Next step, I'm gonna do my foundation base. I'm going to be using the Vanish Foundation Stick. I have been a fan of these sticks now for such a long time and I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. So basically what I like to do is take the stick and just apply a little dab to the areas where I want a bit of coverage. Then taking the Vanish Foundation Brush, I'm just going to use kind of upwards buffing strokes and blend this in. And one of my favorite things about this foundation is how easy it is to blend into your skin and also how much coverage it gives. But I don't feel like I've got this kind of mask across my skin or anything that feels too heavy. But on days when I might want a little bit more coverage, I can really build this product. And then on days where I want a little bit more sheer coverage, I can really just apply where I need it. Depending on how tanned or pale I am at the time of the year, I use a few of the different colors. Today, I'm using warm ivory. The triangle shape really means you can kind of stamp it into these areas on the face that are hard to get to, and then using the brush, just buff it in. So it's actually a great product as well that I love to throw in my handbag and have with me out and about every day. And you can just sort of touch up on the go. So next step, I'm going to use the Veil Retouching Fluid. It is so light and has this wonderful sort of fluidy texture to it. So I just like to dab it under my eyes, corner here, anywhere where I just want a little bit more coverage or my, I have a bit of skin discoloration, any spots. And then I'm going to use this concealer brush just to pat it under my eyes, bringing it really close up to my waterline here. I get a little bit of redness often by the edge of my eye here, so just tapping it in there as well. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'll sort of bring over onto the eyelid. And this is a great kind of primer for any eyeshadow that I might use afterwards. I like to add a little bit of light diffusion here through the forehead. Adding the concealer to these areas and creating sort of light and brightness is really gonna help give, you know, shade and illumination to my face, especially once I incorporate the bronzers and blushes. Next step, because I forgot at the beginning, I'm going to apply lip oil, and this is in the sheer color. This lip oil is one of my most favorite products of all time. It's such a decadent <laughs> lip balm, lip oil. And so I'm gonna let that sink in before I do my lip whilst I'm doing the rest of my makeup. So next step, I'm going to use the ambient lighting powders from the Holiday Ghost palette. They are these two in the top left-hand corner. So I'm gonna take my brush and I'm actually gonna blend them both. And I'm just gonna really apply this to all the areas where I want more luminosity. So here on the top of my cheekbones, across my eyelid, you can really just apply these powders all over. It's almost like a filter for the face. So now I've finished with the ambient lighting powders. I'm going to use the bronzer in the bottom left-hand corner here. I'm going to take the Veil powder brush here and I'm gonna use the bigger side. Try and pick as much up as I can on the brush. I love bronzer all year round. And I'm just going to lightly apply this here to my cheekbones. You can see already how warm 
that's starting to make my skin look, but also in a really natural way. And then I like to kind of apply it here in the temples. They're really buildable. Um, and I like to start off kind of less is more and build up and so you can see coming back over the area second time round, it's really starting to add some more bronze, bronziness to my skin. And it has like this beautiful luminous finish without it being shimmery, which I think is really great when you're applying bronzer or you're picking a bronzer as you really want to pick something that doesn't have too much shimmer in it. And I like to bring it down onto the jawline and this is really just sort of naturally contouring my face. I'm going to take the double-ended ambient lighting brush again. I'm going to take the smaller end and I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer. I'm actually going to just wash this over the eyelid. I always, always like to apply a little bit of bronzer and whatever blush I use, I'll always um, wash a little bit over my eyelids to create a little bit of dimension as well. So I'm really excited about the new Holiday Ghost Quad. Um, these are four stunning blushes. I've had the opportunity to try them all out over the last few days, and I'm really, really obsessed with um, this one on the bottom right-hand corner. Infinite Flush. Just going to pick it up on the brush, give it a little tap. Sometimes I like to apply my blush to the apples of my cheeks. Lately, I've actually been liking to apply it a little bit on top of the cheekbones. I don't know why, I just have been kind of enjoying wearing it there lately. And this is such a pretty color. And you can see it's not too pink. It's almost sort of adding to that bronzer that I've put on before. Always like to pop a little bit of the blush into the socket of my eyes. And you can just see how that brings the color in really naturally into my eye socket. Um, and again, creates that sort of dimension and contour in my eye socket before I apply the eyeshadow. So next I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. Um, this has a really fine tip. Um, and the oval tip really kind of helps you enhance like a natural hairline stroke. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows into shape. I like to start at the front of my eyebrow and I just use gentle flicking motions in the direction of my hair. And I'm using this pencil in soft brunette. I have this pencil in a few different shades. Sometimes for the evening I like to kind of darken my eyebrows and really enhance them. But for every day this is a great color. Just filling in any sparser areas. And then I flip it over and use the comb just to buff it in. Keep checking where I need to add more. So when I first started modeling, I'd over plucked my eyebrows. My mum had just allowed me to start plucking them. And I think as a teenage girl, you just sort of want to be able to pluck them and you don't really know what you're doing. It's just a sort of rite of passage and coming of age kind of thing. And of course, I'd significantly over plucked them and they were completely uneven. And when I first went out for one of my first castings, the casting director told me to go home and not come back again until <laughs> I'd grown my eyebrows back. And luckily they did grow back and now I really leave them alone. So now that I've finished penciling in my brow, I'm going to stick them down with the Hourglass Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just going to flick this through lightly, again brushing them up and set them in place for the day. So the next step I'm going to do my eyeshadow and I'm going to use the scattered lights in this wonderful kind of olive goldy green color called Vivid. For somebody like myself who's on the go, wants to do quick glam, but kind of wants to have an effective look, they really are wonderful. So I'm going to use the eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to push this into the center of my eye and buff it out and cover the entire eyelid. So you can see really how impactful and transformative these scattered light eyeshadows are and how 
quickly you get an eyeshadow look. Sometimes I apply it with my fingers, sometimes I apply them with the brush, um, and they're just incredibly buildable. So now I'm obviously wearing it a little bit more sheer because this is sort of an everyday look, but I could really build this up and make it a sort of more dramatic evening look as well. So now I'm going to use this um, teeny tiny brush. This is brush 11, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the eyeshadow, and I'm gonna just bring it a little bit underneath. Next step, mascara, but first I'm going to use the eyelash curlers and I just like to gently squeeze the lashes. And now I'm going to apply the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This mascara is really lengthening and volumizing. You can see with just a few strokes how full that's making my lashes look. I like to really kind of wiggle it in to the lash line. I like to apply quite a few coats of mascara. I never think you can have two fuller lashes. One of the last steps now is to use the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is one of the most luxurious powders I've ever used. So one of my favorite things about this powder is how beautiful this packaging is. I'm just a sucker for anything that looks this luxurious. It's so beautiful. So I like to take the compact like this and just use the brush to tap up the powder. And then I'm going to use the smaller side of this brush. And again, just tapping away. And I like to just powder here along my jawline, up underneath my eyes obviously takes away any shine, but it doesn't take away the luminosity in your skin. And it just sets your makeup for the day and helps everything kind of blend in. Fun fact, it's actually infused with diamond dust. And then last step, I'm going to use the Unreal High Shine Lip Gloss. This is in Child. And this is a really sort of pretty kind of pinky nude. Now that the lip oil has really had time to kind of sink into my lips, I can just apply this straight on. I'm gonna wear this a little bit sheerer. So I just applied a little bit with the wand and now I'm gonna just dab it. It doesn't kind of mask the pigment in my lip already, but it adds that sort of beautiful nude and sheen. So that's it for my everyday on the go look. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.